Welcome back students to our free learning platform Catalyst on IIT J. I am Atunu from IIT Madras and today we are going to discuss about negative order reactions. But before that, who are new to our platform, who are new to our channel, uh, we, we, I, am, I am repeating this that this channel is for your complete preparation and we, give prepare, we, we do prepare students from scratch to uh, crack your dream exam, right? So, uh, if you if you are uh, planning to prepare for IITJ or NEET exam or maybe you are preparing for only your only your board exam then you can prepare with us and you can prepare from our lectures and uh, this is absolutely free okay so you are going to get all the lecture materials all the study materials and MCQ lecture series with practice MCQs for free right so today we are going to discuss the negative order reactions but why right so in our first video of catalyst for iit je we mentioned that how we are going to cover all the chapters first we will cover the basic concepts then we will cover some lectures then we will cover some advanced concepts those will be for j advanced right or maybe higher level exam like iit jam gate net etc now for chemical kinetics chapter we have already covered all the basic concepts we have also covered the mcq lecture series right so in this lecture we are going to cover the advanced concept which is negative order reaction a detailed description of negative order reactions now today we are going to discuss what do we mean by order of a reaction so we have already discussed this what do you mean by order of reaction in our lecture two basic concept lectures the can the order of a reaction become negative and if yes what is a negative order reaction these are the things we are going to discuss so from the title itself you can say that okay we are going to discuss about negative order reaction so the order of a reaction can be negative right so but the important point is physically what do you mean by negative order reaction? So, can you feel this kind of uh, expression or uh, term negative order reaction? Examples of negative order reactions are also going to be discussed, right? So, this is a very important for JE Advanced mainly, I would say. And this is a very important lecture for IIT JE, uh, your gate and uh, NET exam as well, right? So, uh, if, you, if you are preparing uh, from our channel, then you can share it with your friends so that they can also uh, get benefited from our channel. And if you have not subscribed us yet, please do subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you get all the notifications from our channel and you will be updated, right? So, uh, so let's discuss the order of a reaction. So, we know that if you, if you have a reactant A, and the reactant is giving you the product then the rate equation for the reaction can be written as rate equal to k a to the power m a third bracket means the concentration of a right and the k is the rate constant where the the power m is called the order of a reaction now if you see the definition of order of a reaction then you can say that in the experimental rate equation the summation of the power of the concentration is known as the overall order of the reaction right here you have only one reactant and that's why the order is m here the power of the concentration right so now the question is can the order of a reaction become negative right so if you have this reaction again the previous reaction the rate can be written as k a to the power m so if the reaction order is negative that means the m has to be negative correct because this power is order of a reaction so the question you can reframe the question in like this can m become negative right the answer is yes m can be negative that means negative order reaction is possible so order of a reaction can be negative however molecularity can never be negative why because molecularity is the number of molecules that participate in a reaction or in a rate determining step of a reaction so the number of molecules can never be negative right so the molecularity can never be negative however order of a reaction can be negative right so what do we mean by negative order reaction what is the physical significance of negative order reaction so let us consider again the same reaction and this time you can put 
uh, the power as minus n. Why? Because we know that this is a negative auto reaction. So if you put this negative sign, then this n has to be positive number, right? Because then only the overall order will be negative. Now let us assume that the n value is plus one. Okay. So the what will be the rate? The rate will be k a concentration to the power minus one. Now you can write it rate k by a concentration, right? So if you see this expression, you can clearly see that the rate is inversely proportional to the concentration of A, right? Because K is a constant. So what does it mean? It means that when you increase the concentration because it is in the denominator, when you increase the A concentration, the rate will decrease, right? So how? this increase in concentration can decrease the rate of a reaction this is the question right because in previous cases what we have seen we have seen that when you increase this a concentration or reactant concentration generally the rate of a reaction increases because you increase the effective collision and that's why you cross the transition state more efficiently and thus the react reaction rate increases correct but here that scenario is different or opposite when you increase the a concentration or reactant concentration somehow the rate is decreasing now let us take some examples and uh, to understand this okay now first example is precipitation so what is precipitation precipitation is like this when you have n number of a molecules after a certain concentration this precipitation occurs and then yeah, all the molecules precipitate together okay all the molecule precipitate and comes down in the bottom of the solution now at high concentration what happens substrates start precipitating some substrates start precipitating then if your monomeric or or maybe like a your a is the reactant which is giving you the product but now because of the high concentration the substrate start precipitating but now after precipitation the molecules are not in the solution they are on the bottom of the solution so they will not be able to form any product right so when you increase the concentration of the reactant molecule and the molecules do precipitate then the reaction will not the expected reaction or the expected product formation will not occur right so because of that the rate will decrease did you understand my point I hope you understand this and uh, the second example is quite similar but a bit, di a bit different is the call aggregation. Now let us consider this reaction where you have a substrate which is monomer. Monomer means you have a single entity right like this you can consider this. Now this is giving you the product. Now what happens in some cases at high concentration substrate molecules are very close to each other. Why is that? because of the favorable intermolecular force okay so if the intermolecular force of attraction between these molecules are very high or very favorable what happens at high concentration they tend to come close to each other and they form this kind of this kind of a aggregated uh, or a a bunch of molecules together right so they, they form this kind of aggregated molecules now because of this aggregation the monomer which was supposed to form product is not going to happen the monomer is not able to form the product now because of this aggregation so you in, you are in what happens you are increasing the concentration but because of this second process because of this aggregation process you are not getting the product that means you will see that the product formation rate is less so the rate of the reaction is going to again decrease because of this aggregation process and this aggregation process is uh, very favorable at high concentration so this is a very good example of your uh, negative order reactions and to visualize negative order reaction and uh, a common example is uh, ozone is giving you the oxygen where the rate of the reaction you can express like this this is the experimental outcome and the order with respect to oxygen with respect to oxygen is minus one you can remember this because this is a common question in sometimes a question that what is the order of the reaction with respect to o2 and this is a very good example of negative order reaction okay now 
uh, the fourth example is reaction via diffusion process so diffusion process is uh, is diffusion process is uh, the definition of the diffusion is movement of some particle right so diffusion process becomes slower when concentration increases why so if you if you take uh, one molecule or two molecule together so this is, is at higher concentration let's say this is at higher concentration and this is at lower concentration so what happens at higher concentration two or three molecules come uh, close to each other close to each other and they become a single entity now the diffusion is the movement of particle right so when you increase this number of particles to form an entity what happens the movement process the rate of movement becomes slower because the mass is increasing right so the diffusion process becomes slower when the concentration increases so if the reaction happens via diffusion process now if you can slow down the diffusion process then the reaction rate will decrease correct so here if you see the animation you can see the first one where you have only one ball is very fast is moving very fast to the reaction center however the second one is moving slow the diffusion process is very slow and thus it reaches the reaction center later right so now if you consider this uh, as the rate of a reaction this for this case the rate of the reaction will decrease because of the slow diffusion process right so this is a very good example to visualize negative order reactions now in all these cases what we have seen when concentration increases because of these processes the reaction rate is decreasing right so because the reaction rate is decreasing with increase in concentration we can say that the order of the reaction is negative right so in this lecture we discussed the order of reaction can be negative and in that case the rate of the reaction decreases with the increase in reactant concentration we also discussed some case specific examples of negative order reactions right so if you like this video please do not forget to hit a like and share with your friends and juniors as well so that they know about our platform and about our mission and please do subscribe and hit this bell icon so that uh, you do not miss a single video from our channel thank you very much if you have any uh, comments or if you have any question for us please comment down below we will be happy to answer all those questions thank you very much for your kind attention